final question would be, um, who do you have to convince? You know, you've got the panel, you've got the health minister, but who else are you talking to to try and convince that things need to change? Well, the Department of Health is obviously a key stakeholder in that debate. Um, I must confess, I don't understand the machinations of the finance piece because someone's going to have to give their, their okay for any sort of spending implications. I think the mechanics of that approval process aside, I mean, what, what we've put forward in our submission, in terms of the government impact on what the government had allowed for under the 6 CPA, leaves them broadly square. So I think that's, that's, that's the other really important point. We've, we've always felt like the government's over, overestimated what it would spend because it's underestimated the benefits it gets from PBS reform, right? And I think there's more than enough evidence to show that. So all we're arguing for, in essence, in, in the pro proposal we put forward, at least in the context of the 6 CPA, is we want you to spend what you've budgeted, but we want you to spend it in a different way that gives us a more sustainable business and impacts our customers less. So, you know, there's obvious stakeholders in terms of the Department of Health and people like that, but the basic argument is not one where we're, we're sort of fundamentally asking for any more funding. I think that's right. The, the, I said earlier, it's a continuation of a, of a discussion that was happening in the run up to the six agreements. From our point of view, the department acknowledged the need for a closer look at the funding as it relates to wholesale and across the industry, obviously. We think getting the department to be clear on our points of view or to understand our data and our, you know, our projections is really important. Clearly the department and the minister are in lockstep, so we feel first step, make sure the review panel has a good submission, the department, we work closely with the department, so they understand it, we work closely with the minister and, and her advisors, and I think Mark's right on on the finance side, we're not really active there. I, I don't know that's necessarily a place to be. These arguments are tight and acknowledged within the department, we think that'll help. And look, overall, the, the whole process of working with the panel has been, I think, has been uh, a good process. They've been open, they've been challenging, uh, they've put different models back to us, they've made us think about the way we operate, and that, that's all good, that's all part of the process. And, and if we can reach a point where they have a, a deep understanding of what we do uh, and the models and the options that we've put forward, that can only be a good thing. Terrific. Richard, Patrick, Mark, thank you very much.